I think ICT is a unique theater because, well, first of all, there's no space like this in the city, you know, and it, and even though it, we operated as a midsize, someday we're going to grow into using all the seats and it'll be a Lort contract, I'm sure. Um, but no matter how far back you are, the way it's configured, you feel close to the action. There are only five rows in the orchestra, for example. So it it's, feels intimate, even though it's, it's much larger. During Lady Day's performance, we have a special opportunity for people who want to be up close and personal with the performers because we have four tables with two seats at each table. So that's only eight seats per performance to uh, sit at the table, just at the stage. And um, Billie Holiday will be um, coming around and talking with you personally. I wanted to include Lady Day at Emerson's Barn Grill in the season because, uh, for several reasons, it's a beautiful play, and I love the historical context of what was going on, and I think it's important that we don't forget, and um, she was an amazing performer. And also, this is part of my community partnership with the African American community in Long Beach, which I've been doing since 2002. And we choose a show every year that we can bring our diverse community together. We raise money for college scholarships, and then we also find underwriters for uh, bringing in students to the theater at reduced prices, of course. I saw rehearsal after um, the first week, because that's we always do that for, so the designers can see how you're using the space, and we can, you know, it's usually the designer run, we call it, and uh, they were so ready, <laughs> and, and I... Tonight's our first preview, and I, they're ready. I know God Bless the Child, which everyone's heard of, I think, but I'm not sure they realize that she wrote that song, and she wrote it for her mother. So, And she'll talk about that in the show, too. I think it's ec ecstatic watching her it perform and, and tell her stories because no matter what she's been through, singing is breathing to her. And so that, that's what sustains her. That's what keeps her going. And, I mean, there were some unfortunate things in her life that, um, where she lost her cabaret card and couldn't perform. And so she was performing in small places like Emerson's Bar and Grill where this takes place. And this is her final concert. I would like the audience to take away from this production um, a, a greater appreciation for Billie Holiday, who she is, and her music, of course. And for some, it's an introduction, you know, depending on your generation, you know. But also a look at the time period that, and the history and how we were in that, at that time period in our, in our nation with segregation and how we treated, you know, um, minorities. And, and uh, I, I think we shouldn't forget, and I think we can... We shouldn't forget so that we can do better and continue to do better. I think the Southern California community needs to come see Carol Foreman as Billie Holiday because she will astound you. She's so comfortable in Billie's skin. She captures her musically and just the feeling, her journey, her emotional journey, her and uh, the telling of her stories are so engaging.